If you were new, if you are old, if you are just a passerby, I welcome you. <laughs> In today's video, majority audio, Elias or Elas, however you want to say it, I say Elias because I think that's how it's actually pronounced. But soundbars in a form factor, budget friendly manner is what everyone needs. They don't need speakers. You don't need bookshelf speakers anymore, people. Soundbars are all you need. 3D audio. We're going to get into it and just go over, obviously, the stats, the build quality, and my personal experience using this and why I chose this over bookshelf speakers or just general PC speakers, as you might have seen in the previous videos for majority audio. So let's start off with the unboxing experience. As you can see, they've changed the packaging completely. It is a revived package, no longer with their white and green, big, bold letters saying three year warranty. This is now sleek and elegant in a beautiful looking, eco-friendly looking box to be fair. So I do like this new style they've gone with, whether this is just for this product or if they're going down this route. Hopefully they go down this route because I really like it. I think it looks so slick and just so tasteful, okay? Very simplistic, but yet very powerful, if that makes sense. Now I will mention this, there is no aux cable, which I was kind of devastated with because I use aux, obviously using a soundboard, an aux cable is a must have when it comes to speakers or any sort of sound audio. But this one actually gives you a HDMI cable, which is for HDMI arc. I don't know what that is or what the difference is between that and just aux. Uh, so someone will have to explain that because I'm too lazy to find that out myself. <laughs> Plus it gives you a job to do on this video. And while you're down there, you might as well hit like, subscribe and notification bar. Notification bar. Notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. But anyway, so it obviously comes with all the other documents like the startup guide, the warranty and things like that. And within that is the controller as well with batteries included, which not a lot of companies include batteries, which I, I don't get why. If you're gonna give you a product that needs batteries, just provide batteries, you know? So majority, I love you for that. Then you are greeted with the DC power block, very nice. The thing I like about this is there's not too much cable. You know, sometimes I say, oh, I need the cable because it's got a reach over here and there. If this is for the PC setup, the smaller cable is actually perfect. If I was gonna use this on the TV, then yes, I would expect a longer cable. But for me, it actually is perfect for being on the desk. I hate cables underneath the desk, so that's a, that's a bonus for me. And also you get these hanging hooks that you can mount it to the wall if you really want to. But the last thing in the box is the soundbar itself. And for the, the form factor of it being so small, we'll get into the specs, but I believe it is 160 watts, this baby. So that is kicking out some serious heat. Uh, it does come with a couple of different modes as well for your audio listening pleasure. So I'm gonna put it up on the majority audio Amazon page, just so I have the legit specs that they've got down here. So this is the majority 212 Dolby Atmos soundbar, wall mountable Bluetooth 3D sound with 160 watts up firing speakers, digital display, EQ controls, HDMI, optical and aux, bracket fixings and remote included, the Elias. So that is the title on Amazon, which is huge. But anyway, it gives you everything you need to know. Now the specs, obviously there is a few connectivities. And the cool thing about this is on the front of the actual soundbar, it gives you that nice little LED writing to tell you what you've chosen. So you go through Bluetooth, aux, so forth and so forth. So if it is like how it is on mine, where it's underneath the desk shelf, I can't reach the top buttons. I, you know, so I use the controller. Using the controller, it then allows me to see the front of the actual soundbar of what the volume is, what the treble, what the bass, what kind of equalizer it's on. And that for me is a absolute must to see what you are putting on and to understand what level of volume and bass and treble. Because sometimes I've seen soundbars where you've clicked the button and you don't even know if you've clicked it, you know? So you, you don't know what volume this is on until you turn the TV on and woof just blown you away because it's a hundred percent so it's, it's good they've got these little touches you know they're taking on board if someone didn't have the controls at the top we'll give them a controller now how are they going to know what the volume is we'll put a little lcd like text screen <sniffs> chef's kiss i love it i love it what else we've got is obviously the 212 dolby atmos up firing speakers so like cinematic audio if you will so i feel like it's like a surround sound but instead it's just in front of you and it actually says on here as well elias 3d dolby atmos surround sound system creates a wide sound stage with precise audio placement it's up firing speakers project sound upward enveloping you in an overhead audio experience for every angle that's crazy the, the fact that the audio goes over you and sort of surrounds you that's that to me is next level. Full range connectivity, as I've mentioned, HDMI arc, optical aux, 
but there also is USB playback so that you know it makes it completely versatile for everyone out there that needs something like this if you want to plug it in by USB you can do that as well which is crazy um, and then the last thing they've just got on here is about their three year warranty which I understand some people might say oh well if you're offering a three year warranty then clearly it's not going to last for three years and you know if you've got to give them that warranty but I think it's that thing if it said lifetime warranty then I'd be a bit more concerned because then it's like okay at some point this is going to break um, because you've given me a lifetime warranty. With the three years, it's sort of like they're just giving you that overall warranty for, say, shipping. If it gets damaged in shipping, you're in warranty. Say you mount it to the wall and it accidentally comes off the wall. Again, you're covered, where after three years of use anyway, they'll probably have so many more upgrades to their soundbars, you're probably gonna be looking at a new one anyway. So, you know, for me, the three year warranty, I do like how they just keep it at three years. They don't extend it for stupid, like lifetime warranty because at some point it's gonna break. But it's just the way that they printed it on the box used to get me, how it was so big and it was sort of the thing that took away from the actual product itself. It was just the whole box was saying about three year warranty. Where now on this new one, it's very, it's still there, don't get me wrong, but it's very sleek and hidden. It's not all over printed. And uh, I like that, I, I really do. So the build quality, now this is a very durable plastic. Obviously it is behind me, so I'm not pulling it all out because I've cable managed, okay. I've got rid of my speakers and I've got this there now. And to be fair, I'm so glad I have done so because yes, the speakers were fantastic, they were great, but the subwoofer took up a lot of space on the side where the soundbar fits so nicely underneath the, the little desk shelf and just looks cleaner, I think, than having speakers on the desk. I don't know what it is but soundbars just look so nice. And it's just unfortunate the other ones that they sent out were either too big, where this one is such a good size for all. So like I said, build quality, fantastic. I have no issues with this. Uh, the plastic is not cheap. It is a very durable plastic indeed. Now, the one thing I found is they don't offer the aux cable, which does obviously defeat the purpose of having the aux connectivity. If you don't have the cable, you have to go out and find one or buy one, whatever. So that was a bit of a downfall for me, but other than that, I found one, it works fantastic. I use a soundboard so I can plug it in through that and adjust my own equalizers, if you will. Now this one has so many. So on the controller, you've got movie, music, news, and 3D. But then you also get the external bass and treble controls as well. So you can really equalize this to however you want. But to have all of these different, and they do sound different, don't get me wrong. I've played a bit of music, put it on movie mode, and it sort of gives it more of a, a thuddy bass. I put it on music, it gives it that soft bass, but it still has bass, but it's just not as intense. And then the treble is nice. You can hear the words and the vocals and that. Put it on news. I think that's more just for you treble so you can hear the words clearly. And then 3D is just like all round surround. But I will play some music so you can understand the quality of the audio. Hopefully the microphone, it'll pick it up properly. But yeah, you've also got your mode button on there so you can go through your Bluetooth, your aux, just so forth. Like a mute button and a reset button. Your volume up, volume down, play and skip buttons. So that is everything on the controller. I think the only other downfall that I found with this is if you have it plugged in, and like me, I turn off everything at night time by the plug. Once all my PCs switched off and everything, I turn the plug off so every, all power's not going to this setup. But when I turn it back on, then it obviously resets the soundbar, so I have to then switch back to aux and turn the volume down. It completely messes up if I've changed any bass or treble for certain things. So it literally just, it factory resets it. So that's one thing that would have been nice if it had like an internal battery that kept the memory. I know they do that in their bedside unit that has the radio. I believe there's a small battery in there if you do have a power outage, it keeps it for a little while just so it doesn't, you know, the, the clock doesn't change, the alarms don't change and things like that. It would have been nice to see it in something like this so it keeps that sort of memory of, okay, you've set me to this and I'm going to stick to it until you turn your power back on. Uh, and then while the power's on, it recharges the battery. That would be pretty cool. Again, I don't know if that's even possible, but it'd be a good idea to, uh, to do. But last thing we need to go over is the price, but we'll jump into that at the end after I've showed you some audio of what this thing can do. Right, so I've got a song that is copyright free so we can listen to it without it actually, you know, banning my channel. I'm gonna put the mic closer to the speaker so you can hear it for all of its purpose and glory. And then if I change the equalizers, you might notice a lot, like slight difference, I don't know. But let's get into it. Here comes the microphone now. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so that was the sound testing. Now, I don't know if you noticed the differences every time I kept switching it through music, 3D, news, and movie. I think the movie one sounded the best with music. The music one sort of takes away from the actual bass itself. Movie gives it that nice, rich tone of all sounds. You know, you can hear the bass, you can hear the treble, you can hear the backgrounds and all that stuff. News, again, that sort of just diminished any sort of bass at all. And then 3D gave it a weird surround sound effect, which music doesn't technically do. So it just sounded weird and sort of disoriented because obviously being 3D, you want it to be, if it's if it's multiple channels and you can hear you know, cars driving past. So if, I'd say playing games, the 3D mode would be the best where movie mode just gave you the overall crispiness of all quality of music. Uh, I don't know if you heard that through the microphone. If not, just take my word. Movie is probably the best option to go with. You know, unless you're playing a game, 3D will probably give you the best peripheral sounds from footsteps and cars and guns and things like that but um yeah that's overall the sound it's not going to be the same as a speaker with a subwoofer it is a soundbar but it still gives out some incredible quality so the last thing to actually go over is now the price so i'm going to grab my phone and go to amazon so at the minute on amazon i'm not seeing any vouchers or anything like percentage off there might be a link in the description that will give you a cheeky discount if there is one go down and use it or you can go over to my Amazon store and use it that way. And another bonus, if you're on Prime, you can actually get this next day delivery. As soon as you click order, it will turn up at your door the next day. Super fast delivery, um, very reliable as well. So today's price is coming in at 89.95. Now for me, I think that is actually reasonable for what you're getting. So if you wanna check this out for yourself, there is a link in the description. I do appreciate everyone that watches up to the end. And let me know in the comments below if this is something that you'd go for or if you are a bookshelf speaker kind of person. And while you're down there, remember, leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. But that is it. That's my overall take. I say this is perfect for everyone. You know, there's not a specific person this is for. Again, you can use it for music. You can use it for movies. You can use it for gaming. You can use it for studying. You can use it for news. I don't even know what else you could use it for. And as always, capture, create, captivate. And I'll see you all in the next one.